Hey guys, I'm here today with Eric Wagner. He is one of our firearms team associates responsible for researching and cataloging a lot of the items that we have in-house for our November 17th and 18th sale. He's actually going to be talking about one of his favorite pieces in the auction, which is this medical cabinet, which he will give you a lot more information <laughs> on, but it will be featured, like I said, November 17th and 18th of this year. Online catalog should be available probably within the next month. So uh, as Sarah said, my name is Eric Wagner. This is a naval ch medical chest, probably circa 1790 or so. Um, what they discovered during the age of sale was that medicine at sea was a very difficult proposition to handle. Um, you're far from being able to get to anything and trained surgeons or trained physicians were difficult to get a hold of. Um, so they kind of came up with a system of uh, how to put enough surgeons on a ship, but then they had to come up with how do you stock an entire pharmacy for everything from gunshot wounds to scurvy and, and everything in between. And so what they developed was called a medical chest, a naval medical chest. And what they did was they kind of sat down and they said, what do you think we're going to need the most of and what can we treat the widest possible range of infections with with the fewest possible ingredients. So what they did was they would take a small chest like this, we've had them before, where they had this sort of partitioned opening and then what you see is all these little glass bottles that sit in their own partitions. Now these little glass bottles will each contain something slightly different. You've got paragoric, powdered bark, uh, you've got castor oil and rhubarb, everything that you might think you can need in order to treat all these different afflictions. This one is particularly interesting, not only because it's got the vast majority of the medical supplies still in it, it's got a, just a bunch of little neat sort of pieces from the time. Uh, you've got this little wooden box that's supposed to be from one of the bridges in Scotland that was torn down uh, when it was built by King David, who was the son of Robert the Bruce. You've got the little companion to the family medical chest that contains a bunch of the same things. You even have the, some of the initial addresses and uh, prescriptions of some of the stuff that they were doing. It's just a real neat thing. It's a really great opportunity to see how medicine was being done at the time. And the fact that it's got the, you know all the the glass bottles in their partitions, there's not anything missing. Maybe one or two have been refilled and replaced. This one is kind of interesting because not only does it have the original green tag like the rest of these do, you've also got the cold drawn castor oil label on the side, maybe indicating that it was sort of refilled and reused at one point. After doing the research and the cataloging and, and looking at comparables, uh, this piece will be going into the November 17th and 18th sale at $1,500 to $3,000.